When playing tabletop role-playing games, we're often confronted by a long list of amazing items that drip with potential for the journey ahead. But no, I'm not talking about our characters. I'm talking about the heaps of darling dice, amazing artwork, marvelous modules, and tempting tabletop tools out there on the market. On Inventory Management, we review tabletop RPG resources that are not games and help you decide if you want to add them to your inventory. Three days out of Galgenbeck and somewhere between the Bergen Crypt and the Valley of the Unfortunate Undead, you find yourself in the forest that the prophetess had told you would be here. As you step into the pitch black shade of the trees, you end up deeper than you thought, faster than you imagined you would, when you suddenly stumble upon a cavernous tunnel yawning before you. You slowly step in, four humans, seven monkeys, and one small yappy dog. The floor beneath you is lined with dirt that's honestly healthier than any you ever remember seeing, but it quickly becomes thick vines coating the inside of the tunnel. It feels like the vines are slowly shifting and moving around you. Welcome to Crawling Death below the dying forest. Crawling Death is a Merc board compatible mega dungeon adventure by Brian Colon that features 55 ever twisting rooms to test human, monkey, and small yappy dog alike. But before I can tell you what's amazing about Crawling Death, I need to tell you what's amazing about a project called Cardography. Cardography is a set of playing card sized dungeons that Brian made a few years ago. These cards allow you to quickly lay out a dungeon on your tabletop using the art featured on one side of the card. It's a great tabletop tool if you wanna quickly lay out a dungeon as you go, or even plan it out in advance of the session and just flip it over as the adventurers explore. Crawling Death builds on cardography by creating keyed locations for the Below the Forest of the Dead deck and throwing them into the horrid countryside of Galgenbeck, Morkborg's capital city. It then drenches the tunnel with the flavorful death metal ichor of Merkborg. However, Crawling Death is more than just a mega dungeon in Merkborg flavor. It contains four distinct adventure hooks and pathways, along with a whole host of new rumors, relics, scrolls, trap, infections, and my personal favorite, three factions living and moving around the depths. Each of these factions have their own motivations and agendas. You can attack them or try to work with them or try to play them against each other. It's up to you and whatever is going to delight your imagination. In our actual play with Brian, we just barely scratched the surface of one of these delightfully deranged Abyssian cult capers, and it was enough to wet the whistle and leave each of the players wanting to go a little bit deeper next time. Also, the books, cards, and virtual tabletop assets for Crawling Death are some of the most grotesquely gorgeous Morkborg artifacts I've seen to date. In a system that's known for its tremendously strong visual aesthetic, Brian constantly stands out for bringing his unique background as a sculptor to the style of third-party Morkborg adventures and settings that he create. The sculptures, photography, and art in this game are all blended into a seamless, visual experience, and I think it's worth picking up anything and everything this adventure has to offer. But Crawling Death works perfectly well for theater of the mind, or if you want to throw some of the cards down on the table, or in a virtual tabletop play space. No matter what your GM style is, Crawling Death has you covered like the cocoon of a cave slatherite until it needs to feed. So if you want to hunt down the secrets of an Abyssian cult, or track down Gurk and her gruesome gang, if you want to find the lost pages of Malacca the Mad Warlock and tap into the secrets, if you want to find out about the sacred heart of the undying and amass great wealth, or if you just need to get out of Galgenbeck for a little while, then it's time, my friend, for you to explore crawling death below the dying forest. Thanks for watching. I'm Tony Vicinda, Chief Alchemist over at Plus One EXP, where we multi class in tabletop game design, beard and skincare alchemy, and the Bardic College of Content Creation. If you have questions about Crawling Death or an adventure or other gaming tool you want us to check out, let us know in the comments below or at Plus One EXP on any social media platform. And if you want to know more about the epic items that you can equip, go ahead and ring the bell to let us know you're looking to stock up. 
Here at Plus One EXP, we wanna create professional quality content for designers of all sizes. If you wanna help us create content for first time or small game designers, consider supporting our team over on Kofi. And by the way, no monkeys or small yappy dogs were harmed in the making of this game or the review of it.